Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make some deer jerky. Uh, this deer jerky we've got over the course of the year or this 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 hunting season. Uh, Nick's packaged some top round, bottom round up. Uh, it's what we do. We put them in the freezer until days like today. We're gonna make some deer jerky. Here's the top round, and uh, you can see how the grains are running, and that's the way you want to cut it. So we're gonna get this all cut up. I've got them all set up here with the grain, with the grain, with the grain. That way I don't get confused and mess this up. And you wanna cut about, about a quarter of an inch slices like that right there. That right there will make that, once that gets dehydrated down, it'll slim down, that'll be a perfect size jerky right there. And with these being frozen, and uh, they're frozen, then we thawed them out, but they're not completely thawed out. It makes it a heck of a lot easier to cut this. Uh, so I'm just going down through here and just kind of cutting little bitty slices. And, uh, and they don't have to be perfect. But man, with this halfway thawed out, it just makes it cut so much easier. As you can tell, I mean, that knife just sliding through there and with ease and you look at it and you're like man them are some thick jerky strips but once it gets all dehydrated down they'll they'll thin and up they'll thin up and and you're talking about some good jerky right there you can just just take one of these middle pieces look at that it's still kind of halfway frozen but man it's a perfect piece of jerky right there once it's done and the best way of doing that is if you got it in the freezer, don't let it thaw out completely and keep it, you know, halfway thawed out. And you can cut strips like that right there. I've tried a bunch of different recipes of, of how to make deer jerky and the taste and this and that. But a buddy of mine shared this recipe and, and to me, I think it is the best recipe that I found for my liking. And I just, I don't know how to change it up in any other way uh, to make it any better. All right, we're gonna start uh, with the old Worcestershire sauce. You're gonna need two cups. Uh, two cups of uh, soy sauce. Much meat I got in these Ziploc. Uh, quarter cup of liquid smoke. Two and a half tablespoons of onion powder. Two and a half of garlic powder. be one and a half tablespoons of black pepper. Salt. One and a half. We put slap your mama just about in everything that we cook. It's just got just good. It's a good. gonna put a little bit in there right now and then I'm just gonna start taking this jerky and it's still it's still a little bit frozen but uh, it'll marinate overnight and we just keep adding a little bit as we go so what I got here I got a gallon Ziploc bag and with that, that recipe, that marinate, and we got about exactly right around five pounds of, uh, of cut uh, strips of jerky in this one gallon bag with that marinade. We'll take this and we'll put it right in the refrigerator overnight and then we'll stick it in the dehydrator in the morning. All right guys, it's the next morning. And uh, as you can see, I've already started laying them out. I got parchment paper down here, lay each, each strip down this parchment paper and then I'll take a, just a paper towel and I'll start kind of dabbing some of that moisture off of these, off of this jerky. Okay, once I've uh, dabbed all these down and got to pull a little bit of that moisture out, what I like, I like my jerky just have a little bit of spice to it. So uh, I got some crushed red pepper and look, like I said, it doesn't take that much. And what I do is I just kind of just lightly sprinkle you don't have to get but just a few flakes on each one of those. And then all I do is uh, I've got a uh, 10 tray deluxe Cabela's 
um, dehydrator and uh, all I started is I'll start laying these laying these strips in this dehydrator on each one of these trays make sure you don't butt them up against each other that way that air can get around them and in between them man oh man you talking about good okay got the jerky dehydrator on and uh, it's all filled up as you can see there's my jerky I can just turn it on and uh, it'll take probably seven to nine hours and by probably about four o'clock this afternoon we'll have the best daggum jerky but uh, and I'm telling you, you guys got to try this recipe uh, I haven't found anything better uh, I'm not saying there's not anything better out there, but I don't know what else to put in the spices to make it any, any better. Alright guys, it's been about eight and a half hours. And, uh, let's check these things out. Oh yeah, look at there. Good. Good jerky right there, boys. Really good jerky. And it smells, it's got our whole house smelling good. Look at that. Mm. So good. Guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you got any comments or or if you if you do try this recipe, let us know. Let us know what you think. But uh, I know what I think, and I think it's dang good.